So in this video, we're going to apply the mean value theorem in the context of a rational function. So the problem says let f of x equals 8 minus 8 over x. So we have a rational function. Verify that the mean value theorem, verify that the mean value theorem holds for the closed interval from 4 to 8. Then find all values of c in the open interval from 4 to 8 such that the derivative at c is equal to the average uh, of the function over that interval. So first we need to verify that the mean value theorem holds. So before we can just use the mean value theorem, we need to remember that there are two criteria that we need to meet in order to use the mean value theorem. First, our function f of x needs to be continuous over the closed interval in which we are interested. So if we look at f of x equals 8 minus 8 over x, we want to recognize that there is a discontinuity when x equals 0 because the x equal to 0 would cause a division by 0 right here in the denominator. So the domain of f of x is from negative infinity up to 0, the value of x that causes the discontinuity union from 0 to infinity. And what we want to notice is that the closed interval from 4 to 8 doesn't include 0, the uh, value for which the discontinuity happens. So because f of x is continuous, got to spell it right though, continuous over the closed interval from 4 to 8, <clears throat> we meet criteria one of the mean value theorem. So the next thing to do is to make sure that the derivative exists over the open interval from four to eight. So to do that, we take the derivative of our function. So we have f of x equaling eight minus, and x over eight is the same as x a, sorry, 8x to the negative first. So if we take the derivative of that, we get 0, derivative of a to 0, minus 8 times constant multiple of x to the negative 1, bring the exponent down, reduce the exponent by 1, and then simplify. So we have a double negation. So we wind up with 8 over x to the negative 2 is the same as 8 over x squared. So there's the derivative. And when we look at the derivative, we see that when x is 0, we still have a discontinuity. So the domain of the derivative is negative infinity to infinity. Sorry, negative infinity to 0 union 0 to positive infinity because we have a discontinuity at 0. But our open interval 4, 8 is a subset of the open interval from 0 to infinity. So f prime of x exists on the open interval from 4 to 8. So we meet criteria number 2. So we always have to check. This verify piece means check to make sure that your function is actually continuous over the closed interval. If it's not, you can't use the mean value theorem. Once you verify that, check to see whether the, the derivative exists over the open interval. And you have to do both of those things before you can use the mean value theorem. And in the homework, that's the expectation. First, demonstrate that the mean value theorem can be used. Once you've done that, then use the mean value theorem. Don't use it until you verify that it can be used. So now we can use the mean value theorem. And the mean value theorem simply says, hey, if you have this closed, uh, closed interval from A to B over which your function is continuous and an open interval from A to B over which the derivative exists, then you're guaranteed that there is an input C that lives in this interval such that the derivative at C is equal to the average rate of change over that interval. And that's all this is saying. So here, our a and b are being played by 4 and 8. We have the case where the open interval from a, from a to b is the 
open interval from 4 to 8. So all we're doing is plugging in the 8 and the 4 and taking the 8 minus 4 in the denominator to get the average rate of change. And we want to find the value of C for which the average rate of change is equal to the derivative evaluated at C. So first we want to calculate this right here. We want to calculate f of 8 minus f of 4 over 8 minus 4 to get the average rate of change. And that just means plug 8 into your function. So we're going to get 8 minus 8 over x, but we're replacing x with 8 minus parentheses. And this is f of 4. So we put 4 in for x, so we get 8 minus 8 over 4, and this is all over the 8 minus 4. So we calculate that average rate of change. So here we have 8 minus 8 over 8 is 1. 8 minus 1 is 7. Bring down the minus. 8 minus 8 divided by 4 is 2. 8 minus 2 is 6 over. 8 minus 4 is 4. 7 minus 1 is 1. So we get 1 fourth is the average rate of change of the function over the interval from 4 to 8. And now we need to find the value of c uh, for which f prime of c matches this. So all we need to do is come over and take our derivative. We want to know when is the derivative equal to a quarter. So take the derivative and say, hey, we want to know when does the derivative equal 1 quarter. But the derivative is just 8 over x squared. So when does 8 over x squared equal 1 quarter? And when we solve for x, we're, we're solving for the value of c at which f prime of c equals the average rate of change. So here, by algebra, we'll get 32 is equal to x squared. So we take the square root of both sides. And usually you would get plus or minus, but what we want to notice is that the opposite of the square root of 32 is going to be a negative number. And that negative number won't be in this open interval from 4 to 8. These are all positive numbers. So instead of going plus or minus the square root, we want to recognize that we just need the positive square root. And then 32 is just... 16 times 2, so this really simplifies to 4 times the square root of 2 equals x. And the mean value theorem guarantees us that this number right here is going to be on the interval from 4 to 8. And we can verify it. In fact, we want to verify that indeed it is. So I'm going to erase a little bit of work here to give myself some room. So what I want to notice is 2. Look at the number inside of there, 2 and make the claim that 1 is less than 2 is less than 4. Okay? And I, I want to know something about 4 times the square root of 2. So I have a three-part inequality here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the square root of all three parts. Whatever you do to one part, do to the other parts. Square root of 1 is 1. Now that tells us that 1 is less than the square root of 2 is less than the square root of 4 is 2. So the square root of 2 lives between 1 and 2. But we want to know something about 4 times the square root of 2. So take all three parts of the three-part inequality and multiply them by 4. 4 times 1 is 4 is less than 4 times the square root of 2 is less than 4 times 2 is 8. So when we look at it this way, what we recognize is that without even using a calculator, we know that 4 times the square root of 2 is between 4 and 8. In other words, 4, this three-part inequality right here is telling us that 4 times the square root of 2 is an element of the open interval from 4 to 8. So indeed, the mean we found the value that the mean value theorem guarantees us uh, exist. We know that f prime of 4 times the square root of 2 equals a quarter.